Oh, hello, AJ. This is Carlos. I uh, just would like to ask a question. Uh, when it comes to addictions, uh, most people refer addictions to something that is negative, and you mentioned smoking or drinking or whatever it is. What happens when the addiction actually happens to be a positive one, such as I care more about other people than myself, or I do more to help others than I would do to help myself? It's a or, very good question. And, uh, and can I give you a very blunt answer? Please do. <laughs> there is no such thing as a positive addiction. You just answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing as a positive addiction. You see, every one of our... E see, this is one reason why we justify the holding on to some of our addictions. Because we believe they're positive. We believe they're good. We believe they're going to be good for other people. So what do I do? I'm, I want to help other people. I help other people. I help other people. I'm saying, this is a wonderful addiction that I have because I'm helping so many people. But you know what we're doing in the end? We get exhausted. There's the proof. You see, love doesn't exhaust itself. Love is... It, it, like, you look at God. It, is, is God giving out love, giving out love? And then all of a sudden, God goes, oh, I'm tired now. You know, <laughs> you know, I'll have a rest from giving out love. Is that how it works, right? No. But that's how we are when we're in the addiction of so-called giving love. You see, you see, when we're not in the addiction of giving love, so-called, and we're really in a place of love, you will not be exhausted, ever, from giving. Ever. Right? And the exhaustion is proof that the love isn't, in play, it isn't there. Because once we're at one with God, we will not have the exhaustion in play. So every addiction is unloving. Every single one of them. There's no such thing as a positive addiction. We'll talk more about this in a, in a while. That's going to be challenging for some of you. Well, thank you. That was really good. Yep. Great answer. If we come down to Katrina and then... AJ, not long ago you said that um, spirits want me to satisfy their addictions. It's something that I have really struggled with, really grasping. Are you willing to talk more about that? Um, yes, can I? I'm going to do a whole section on the spirit interplay with addictions because it's very important to understand the spirit interplay. You see, you may have no other person surrounding you on earth and yet you might still be heavily in addictions because you're in addiction with the spirits who are surrounding you. And so it's very important to understand the interplay that happens between yourself and your own addictions and how that draws these spirits into play. And then what they do with that. Because what they do is they revert to bribery in order to satisfy your addictions, threats in order to trigger your fear, or total blackmail in order to remove love from you, so-called love from you completely, so you get back into line. All right? Now, many of you have already had this happen with your family, your friends and, and other people around you with regard to trying to get closer to God. And, and these, are in, these are addictions in play from their point and also from ours that cause an interplay emotionally and we need to address them. We need to find out more about them. So I'll be dealing with those subjects more specifically as we go on today. Is that all right? Jen? Yeah. 